make or break time for the Battlefield franchise. Battlefield 4 was, in other words, a complete and utter failure. Battlefield 3 was a genuinely good success. And Bad Company 2, well, you don't get much better than that. Battlefield Hardline? Going to be completely different. And unfortunately, because of the decisions that have been made by EA, as good and honourable as they may have been to allow the developer to have more time to make the game, it's now given Visceral an ultimatum. This game has to be one of the best Battlefield games that's ever been made, has to pull in the crowd that went away with Battlefield 4, bring back the crowds that they had with Battlefield 3, and bring back the love for the franchise that we lost with the passing of Bad Company 2. Let's go back. In about mid-April of 2014, I received an email from Visceral directly to go out to EA Redwood Shores, their headquarters in California, to go and play a brand new game. Uh, it didn't tell me what it was when I first saw the email, but I was quite excited. Uh, I'd never been invited to America before to play a, a video game, which is a great experience. And uh, if you ever get the chance, don't ever turn it down. But there had been hints that Visceral, who are based at EA Redwood Shores, were making the next Battlefield title. So myself and along with a lot of other people that got invited generally had a good idea about what we were going to be seeing. When I first set my eyes on Battlefield Hardline, I was in two minds. I wasn't really sure what to make of it. First of all, I'd only seen about 30 seconds of gameplay, so it was fresh in my mind going, well, oh, what the hell's going to go on with this game? And it was kind of like, well, it's not really Battlefield as we know it, but looking at Battlefield 4, that could be a good thing. So I was kind of in two minds and I didn't really know what to think. When it came to the multiplayer gameplay session, I had a really good time playing the multiplayer. It was clear there were a lot of issues in there that needed to be worked out, but we were playing a very early alpha stage of the game. Now, I went back out there a month later and played the game again and was allowed to record footage and bring that home to show you guys on my channel. Now, I got a very mixed reaction to the game when it dropped onto my channel. A lot of people were saying this isn't really a Battlefield game, it's just a glorified DLC, or it could just be a game without the word Battlefield in the title. And you know what? I'd have to agree with you. On first sort of sight of Battlefield Hardline, I would probably agree and say that this could actually be a DLC for Battlefield 4. But at the same time, there are lots of things in the game that I think that make it far more than a DLC. But without going into too much detail, because I'm still under NDA for some of these things, because I know more than I'm allowed to say, so I can't go much further with that. But moving further on, the reaction about this delay has caused another jitter in the Battlefield community. Once again, we're not really sure what to think about this game, but what I do know is, if this game doesn't come out and is in a fully working state, okay, I can handle a few bugs, and I'm sure the community can handle a couple of bugs as well, as long as they're not game-breaking. If this game doesn't come out with a good gameplay experience, something that's different to Battlefield 4, but something that the community can relate to as well, this game is going to be make or break for the franchise. If this will get it right, they'll have another Bad Company 2 on their hands, I think. It will go down as one of the greatest Battlefield games in history. But if it goes wrong, then the Battlefield community may actually cease to exist. I'm pretty confident, and I'm probably sure that a lot of you guys will agree with me, that if this game comes out broken, which I don't think it will, I've spoken to the, the devs and the guys at Visceral, and they're extremely confident in the game, and they're always giving me updates about how things are going, and they generally seem to have a very good handle on things. But if this game does come out and is not working as it should do, it's not fully functional, it's not what the Battlefield community might consider as different and apart from Battlefield 4 and 3, then as I said, I don't think the community are going to stick around for very long. The launch of Battlefield 4 put a very, very bad taste in people's mouths, especially if you bought premium and pre-ordered that as well. You coughed up a lot of money for essentially a game that, that didn't work properly. And if that happens with Hardline, the community aren't going to stand for it. They'll walk away. They won't come back either. Unlike certain other FPS franchises that continue to make the same game year on year, and continue to have the same problems in their game year on year, Visceral have stepped out of the mould and taken a chance with Battlefield Hardline, and I'm willing to give them my attention and a little bit of my time to try out this game. I've played it, obviously, a lot more in testing stages than what you guys have. You all played the beta, well, a majority of you played the beta, um, and a lot of people gave some really good feedback. And the fact that they've delayed the game to take that feedback on is a brilliant step. 
But as I say, it will make absolutely no difference if this game does not come out fully functional and working. I really and truly hope that a lot of people that have left Battlefield 4 simply because of the way that it came out and the fact that it didn't live up to its name will come back with Battlefield Hardline and will give it a go. A lot of people tried out the beta, over 2 million people clocked hours in the beta, which is a huge amount of people, but by no means is that reaching the heights of the amount of people that bought Battlefield 3 across the three platforms that it was on. 18 million players in total had registered time playing Battlefield 3. So Hardline's a long way from that, but don't forget, there hasn't been any Xbox 360 or Xbox One players playing in the beta yet because they haven't had access to it. There will be another beta in the fall, and I really do encourage people to go out and play the beta when it comes out. Get your hands on with Hardline and see how it feels, see how it works. See if you'd like that kind of game. Visceral, still at this time, are taking on so much feedback for this game. I'm in direct contact with their general manager, Steve Papoutsis, and I've been emailing him backwards and forwards for the last few days, and he's been talking about some of the things that they're working on, and I can't really discuss too many of them. As I say, I'm under NDA, unfortunately, but they are listening. And when I say listening, they're pretty much writing down everything that people are saying, seeing if it fits into the game, whether it fits with the ethos that they're going for, and then making a better game because of that. So if you want to see anything in Hardline, make sure you drop it in the description. I will be sending this video to Steve at Visceral so that he can have a look at this after a few days that it's been up and have a look at some of those comments. But that's the end of the video. So thank you very much for watching today. It's been good to make this video. Kind of good to get it off my chest. Had a lot to say on the topic, but I hope you stay to listen. As I say, leave all your comments down below. And if you could leave a rating, that would be greatly appreciated. But until next time, my name is Westy. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.